it's a quick news break with yours truly. I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Telefero. Please make sure you're following your boy on Instagram. At is Mr. Telefero, the governor's 10,000 followers. Let's get there as soon as possible. I thank you guys so much for the love. We're trending in the right direction. I guess that's really the only way you can go since I can't really go backwards. But thank y'all so much for the love on Instagram. At is Mr. Telefero. So, yes, as Kodak Black continues to beef with NBA Youngboy, make little snarky remarks from prison, might I add, at NBA Youngboy's direction, hop in NBA Youngboy's business, whether you think NBA Youngboy is right or wrong about his situation, whatever. Here's the thing. NBA Youngboy is outside of those walls, making music, being one of the biggest young rappers in the game, making a lot of money, not tied up in legal fees right now. He's got women at his disposal, right? He's living the lifestyle of a rock star rapper right now. Kodak's behind bars in the midst of all of this. Obviously, the coronavirus is tearing up our nation right now, specifically New York, which technically Kodak Black is inside of a New York prison. The last time I checked, as he was transferred a couple weeks ago from Kentucky to New York to deal with one charge that he had uh, about crossing the border with the straps. So I think NBA Youngboy's sentiment has always been, bro, you worried about the wrong things. You still locked up. You in my business. But what if I get into your business? Your shit don't look too sweet. At least I'm out of prison. You locked up. Come in and on other people's business. Well, I think Kodak Black learned a valuable lesson in just keeping his mouth closed and minding his own business as he went on his Instagram account just hours ago to give an update not on NBA Youngboy's situation, not on Yahya Mayweather's situation, but on his own situation as he believes he's facing more charges in the near future. He said, man, these people are trying to fuck me over all these coronavirus shit and y'all talking about trying to charge a nigga for a bogus fight? If y'all gonna charge me, do it now then. Don't try to wait until I'm almost home. Hell no. Then if y'all was charging me, why y'all letting me out the box? On top of all that, y'all sent me way to Kentucky, uh, USP Big Sandy, uh, 1,023 miles away from my family after Donald Trump passed the First Step Act stating that the BOP is supposed to keep you within 500 miles of your family. Everybody know Big Sandy is the worst penitentiary in BOP uh, besides Hazleton. Y'all sent T.I. to a low and sent Gucci Man to Tierra Hot. So why the fuck y'all send Kodak Black to Big Sandy? Because the people know how I'm rocking. They know I ain't no bitch and I'll blow me some shit up. So they sent me to the compound where there's only three niggas from Florida there. Uh, so regardless of who talking like they got my back, I'm gonna need me a motherfucking knife because I don't know nobody. These people breaking all type of laws with me. First of y'all, y'all sent me way past my radius. Second, that is double jeopardy because y'all already have sanctioned me to five months in the box. Took my phone calls uh, for six months. Took my email and my commissary for six months. And every everyone in the feds know they cannot turn around and charge you after they serve you your shit. So why are they trying to do me like that? Third of all, with a new charge I'm getting over my head, I'm never supposed to be let out of the box. Uh, I'm supposed to be going to court for it. These people setting me up and letting me out of the box and sending me to the worst penitentiary so I can get in some more trouble so when they do decide to bring me to court, they can have more shit to say. Y'all the one beat me up and did me wrong. Y'all should be getting a new charge, not the project, baby. He's going through it. He's going through it right now. This is why we advise... You know, some of you youngins who don't want to get started in that system, like, yo, once you get started with that shit, you become a target. And they, they they literally want to make an example out of you. Kodak Black is the successful rapper. He's been in some trouble. He'd admit that he hasn't made the best decisions. But now it seems like he's just getting jammed time and time again. Now he's away from, he's, you heard him say he's away from his family, not even close to his family right now. He's in New York right now. This dude got transferred like two or three times since he's been locked up still got two or three years left on his sentence and outside of that you know kodak black he still got a rape trial coming up at some point this year i don't know if the coronavirus is going to push that thing back but he's likely fa he's facing up to 30 years for rape now he's got a lawyer bradford cohen that works his behind off to get that shit kind of uh brought down but we will see what happens when more comes in i'll let you guys know on kodak black situation 
It seems like he is at least at the point where he's sneaking some type of phone in that's giving him access to talk to the people, beef with NBA young boy, uh, comment, post on his Insta story. Maybe he's got some help as well from somebody controlling his media. And you hear the project, baby. He feels like he's by himself on his own with nobody around him that can really help him right now in the situation he's in. Best of luck to him. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Kodak Black delivers a statement from behind the walls, pretty much letting you know that he's facing another charge right now. He believes the reason why they're trying to give him a bogus charge for a fight that he maybe was involved in is because whenever it's time for him to get out, he believes they're trying to use that against him amidst everything going on in our society right now. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. Hey, got the kids, they tuned in. Tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.